Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with me, Des. So, today, interestingly enough, I am going to be drawing characters from My Hero Academia from memory. <laughs> Which is, it's kind of funny, I don't know a ton a ton about My Hero Academia. Um, it, a couple people asked me to draw some characters from my hero academia in my style on my on my instagram so i thought it would be fun to i've seen these characters around a lot on like pinterest and stuff um they have very cool character designs like this looks like a rip off rip off zuko don't get mad at me for saying that <laughs> but but still very cool like I love these character designs. I love like the, this bow is her hair and whatever. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be drawing these characters from memory and I'm probably only going to get to four of them in this video, but that's okay. I'll do, I'll do more later. Here we go. Let's jump into it. The way I'm going to be doing this is I have kind of these references set up on my drawing already and i'm just gonna take 10 seconds to look at them kind of get all the features of the characters and then i'll draw so actually you know what i'm not gonna do a timer i'm just gonna like quickly go over it so big eyes pink cheeks I like her big eyes her pink cheeks she has very very small eyebrows her hair is really short but there's these like thingies in the front and then if i wanted to draw her in costume big limb kind of limb areas Cute. I love her cute little eyelashes. So brown hair, blah, blah, blah. Um, Ochako Uraraka. Right. So now I'm going to turn it off. And that's all I get to see of her. And here we go. Okay. So she did also have a very, very round face. So I'm going to start off by doing kind of a more oval as opposed, like a more um, long oval as opposed to a tall oval for like a... a slimmer face so she had a nice rounded face Nah, i don't really like that i do a lot of erasing with my drawings especially because i don't do line art over my sketches i just use my sketches and then i kind of erase it down to how i want it to look lollipop swirls for the ears always always forever doing lollipop swirls for the ears great i'm kind of liking this one a little bit better Let's do the eyes before we do the mouth. How about it? Sound good? Great. So she had very, very big eyes from what I could remember. Like dramatically big with very feminine characters. So the eyelashes, which I kind of put on all of my characters, if I'm going to be honest. Well, not all of them, all of them, but I always do the ginormo eyelashes. <laughs> I just... I guess I just like eyelashes. <laughs> I don't know. That sounded weird. But and I also always do like these bottom claw eyelashes. Like they look like little claws, like velociraptor claws. Like I could draw a velociraptor arm in here. Rawr. Uh they look like velociraptor claws. But that's okay. We won't talk about that. They're cute, and that's all that matters. Great. So I'm liking how her eyes are looking, but I feel like the face shape could use some work. So I'm just going to erase the bottom part. She was very round and bubbly. And like, if I remember right from her costume too, it was very rounded and like kind of chunky on the, on the like feet. I don't know. I feel like anime girls always look really young unless they're like purposely made to look older. They're all, like, the cutesy ones always look super young. Super young and, like, like eight-year-olds. I don't know. That that might be just my personal opinion, though. Ooh, not liking that. I always do this with mouse. I always make, like, the weirdest-looking mouse. Because uh, whenever I draw a mouse, I just go swoop. And, like, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, I I start over. But I'm always I always just go for it, and I wing it, and I go swoop. Just like, swoop, it's a mouth. 
It's a mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'm lazy like that. Oh, she's kind of coming along cute. But now she looks... I like it, I like it. But I don't like it a lot. Like, I feel like the eyes can be a little lower. Great, so I'm kind of liking this face a little more. I'm not going to spend too much time on these because I want to get a couple in per episode. Ooh, I can't remember if she had earrings. I feel like I'm, like her face is missing something. And I don't know what it is. Mm. Oh, now, shoot. I forgot to see if she had bangs or not. I know she has like the little hair pieces that are longer in the front. But I can't remember if she had bangs or not. Okay, here, we're going to go for it. And I know her hair was like... It kind of looked like a pumpkin, kind of. Not like a pumpkin, but... I feel like it... Did it swoop to one side? I want to cheat. I want to cheat so bad. I normally look at references when I'm doing these things. Ah! I really want to cheat on this. You guys, this is really hard, actually. Oh, this looks nothing like her. It's not turning out. I'm sorry, Ochako. I think that's... I can't even remember her name. Gosh. Uraka. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> this is really sad. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm... I want to look so badly. Does it just like... I want to cheat. I want to cheat. No. No deaths. You cannot cheat. You cannot. I won't allow it. Great, and then I didn't leave a ton of room for her legs, so I guess we'll make her floating, because then I can put- And she had like, the chonkiest boots. The chonkiest boots. Great, I'm gonna say this one is done! <laughs> now, <laughs> let's move her over here and- Oh gosh. Oh, okay, wait. Great. Okay. So here is my no reference or like no reference while drawing version of Ochako Uraraka. And here are the actual, the actual drawings of her. So let's see the things I got kind of right. She did have bangs. I thought she didn't have bangs and wow. So my hairstyle for her could have been way, way better. It has more of a, like, very round top that goes like this. Like, even that starts to make her look more like her. And then also, she does have bangs. She has, like, side bangs. And her eyes are even bigger. Her eyes are even bigger. And she has, well, she has an anime nose. Like, the tiniest button nose, which I could have really played into. And then also for her uniform, her costume, I didn't even attempt the helmet. I was like, no way, no way, Jose. <laughs> Can't do that. But I kind of did get like the stripe right. Like she has like this stripe going down the middle of her outfit. Um, I was wrong about like the gauntlet things because I thought she might have had those. But I was right about the wristbands. I just didn't design them as well as the, this character had. And then I was right about this, like, the belt thing. Eh, I could have done, like, way better with that. But she also does have, like, this little neck piece, but it just wasn't as big. So I could have added that, too. So, overall, mm, I think I'll give myself... I don't know. I think I did pretty good, so I'm going to give myself a 7 out of 10 for this one. Her face and hair was really what I needed to work on. So, actually, maybe 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Great. So, let's move on to the next one. Great, we're on to the next character, which is Izuku Midoriya. He has giant eyes, too. He also has, like, really floofy hair. I know this is going to be hard to draw because I have a hard time drawing hair like this. In general and then okay I don't know if I want to I'm probably gonna draw him in like his this so he has like 
sneakers. His tie is really short. Blah, 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 blah. I think that's all the time I have. All the time I have. He also has freckles. Ah, ah. Okay. So now we're turning it off. Off. You're gone. You're done. And here we go. Let's draw Izuku Midoriya. Okay. Kind of scared about this one. Because I've, I've tried to, I kind of was doing tests beforehand to get his hair right because I knew it was going to be trouble for me. Like, I already knew it was going to be trouble. <laughs> little broccoli head here but <laughs> he looks he he's very adorable like he has this like adorable like happy little face and it's very it's very cute but he he does look like he's 12 i don't know how old he actually is i think i think it's like high school age so he's probably like 14 but i'm sorry you you look like you're 12 izuku i'm really sorry to tell you this you look like a 12 year old I'm not gonna lie he has like these really really round i kind of just want to draw like circles and then erase the bottom because of how round his eyeballs are let's edit this because i don't like how this one does. dang that kind of looks like him not gonna lie but they're giant and i think i think that's how big his eyes are oh i didn't even look at his eyebrows how are your eyebrows sir oh i really want to cheat no no Des, no cheating Oh, look how cute he is. Look how cute he's turning out. He's like such a little muffin. Such a little muffin. Also, I feel like his eyes like need to be open wider. Like open wide, like he's at the dentist, except it's the dentist for eyes. I guess that's the optometrist. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. Don't don't listen to me. I'm not a doctor. I'm a drawer. Oh. Wait, no, I'm an artist. A drawer. <laughs> I think that actually looks pretty good. Like, not gonna lie, I'm kind of proud of those eyeballs. I don't normally draw eyes like this big. When I do pupils, they're like this small. Mm. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let's just shrink these eyes down a little bit like this part of the eye so his eyes look wider yeah i like it don't let me mess up on the hair guys oh i forgot i also forgot to see how his bangs fall like bruh i did this do i not learn Tess, you did this last you did this last time do you not learn i have learned nothing this looks like way too fluffy like that's way way too fluffy you know i'm just gonna i honestly you know what i'm gonna do you know what i'm gonna do there he's perfect it's perfect look <laughs> all right now I'm back to back to my misery i kind of feel like it was more like ooh, swoopy Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, it was more like swoopy as opposed to curly. Like, swoop. Yes, I feel like... Swoop. I feel like that's much better. Okay, now on to the body. So, I'm gonna make him in the school uniform because I didn't really look at his costume very much. I was trying to get a feel for, like... How his face actually looked because I failed so bad on that with <laughs> Ochako. So <laughs> I was trying to do that, but then I forgot to like give his costume a look. So now we're just gonna have to put him in his uniform, which is fine. And then I know I looked at it and it had like stripy things on the like triangle things that come off a suit. Gosh, I draw them all the time and I still have no idea what they're called. Also, I didn't even try to start with his pose. I just kind of went with it. I'm not liking this. I'm not loving this. It's not McDonald's. I'm not loving it. Sorry. That was really bad. <laughs> that was a really bad joke. I mean, nobody forced you to watch this, so you're going to have to put up with my bad jokes. Ew. If you don't like it, 
often. I'm sorry. I'll do better. <laughs> I really don't want the- I want to get more in, but I don't want to have like a 40 minute long video. And these are taking much longer than I thought they would. Because I always think things are going to take less time than they actually do. Maybe like have his hands like here, make him look kind of surprised. Swoopy arms. Like he's ready to fight or something. Well, not ready to fight, but like, huh, like, you caught me off guard. I don't know. I don't know, Izuku, what, what you want to be like. You can be your own hero. I don't, that was really cheesy. I don't know where I'm going with this. Also, like, okay. I've also heard him been called Deku. And anime confuses me. Like, why did they have so many? I, I'm, I also need to get more into the culture. Because, like, I don't understand how, where, like, first name uh, is acceptable. Like, because they'll call each other by their last name a lot, I think. If I'm not mistaken. And, like, only if you're really, really close friends or something, you get to call each other. But I don't know. That's just what I've kind of, like... Okay, this is actually turning out pretty good, and I'm kind of happy with it. So. Ooh. Ooh. Put him right there. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is not bad. Let's look. This is not that bad. So, I got his really ginormo eyes. Yay. Check. I forgot his freckles! Oh, minus points. Minus points for that. I forgot his freckles. Forgot his freckles! Minus like a bazillion points. Minus infinity points for that. Because I told myself to remember those. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, his eyebrows were really thin. His hair could be floofier. But all things considered, I think I did pretty well. Like he has pretty floofy hair. And yeah. And kind of it's more my style. His face could be smaller, like he could have a smaller face, but he does have a pointy chin and I did give him that pointy chin, so I get points for that. Oh, I messed up on where the stripes are, but I did kind of get them in there and I did get the like shoulder stripes, so that's good. His pants are plain, so yeah, I didn't do like that good of a job on sneakers, but that's just because I can't draw shoes, but I did get that feature in. I forgot pockets on here. This could be longer, and it also doesn't have, like, the triangle. So, honestly, I think 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for this guy. Yay! You know what? Let's try to fit one more. One more into this video. And because this character is just, like, look at him. He looks so angry. Wait, oops. Look at him. He just looks so angry and upset. And like, I <laughs> and so he look, uh, I just love this character design. Like, he he's so spiky and like mad. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, I kind of want to draw him in this costume because it would be fun. So, he has like really, really, really spiky hair. His eyebrows are thicker than everyone else's. He When he like grimaces or like grins he has like pretty sharp teeth for his costume he has like these grenade launchers at the end of his hands there's an x in the middle and of what also looks like like shooter things up here belts baggy pants kind of high boots and then he also has like this cool mask thing and i don't know what these are but they look like they're coming off his back or his head but yeah okay i should probably turn it off now okay bakugo here we go he also, if I remember, he had like kind of a longer face than the rest of them. He's just not as cutesy. Probably because he looks like kind of a demon spawn child. His eyes were also much thinner than the rest of them. Like, whereas the other ones had like circle eyes like that. When he was resting, he had more like oval eyes like this. I kind of want to make him not smiling because all my other character. The other, I had a smiling character. I had a kind of surprise character. So it'd be fun to make him not smiling. 
I like the eyes without the bottom part, but whenever I put the bottom part in, it like makes them look weird. So let's try moving this whole thing over this way. This is kind of more, he's kind of more fit for my style of eyes. I also kind of want to play around with his pointy, his pointy teeth aspect. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. He also looks like the type of a guy who would wear eyeliner. Like, he just looks like that guy. And then his mask kind of goes like this, if I remember correctly. And his hair, ooh, I don't like that. His hair goes down over it. I can't remember how his eyebrows go on it, but I'm just going to keep it like this. <laughs> I am so not good at spiky hair. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um... He looks like a porcupine. Ah. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my gosh. No, this is not turning out. I like his face so far, but this, this hair. There we go. This is a little bit better. Okay. I can, I can live with that. Great. So then on his, no, I did this last time too. You need to draw the pose first. Let's draw his body kind of like this. Mm, don't really like that. Abandoned ship. Uh... And we can have his hand out in front with his giant grenade launcher. I, t I said I didn't want to do an action pose. I told myself in my head I didn't, but this is turning out to be more of an action pose than I anticipated. Giant grenade launcher, like rocket launcher parts all over him. Is he like, is his like superpower he can rocket launch stuff? Like, throw stuff at high speed or whatever. Or, like, explosions. My superpower is explosion. <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm sure they have cooler powers than that. Also, I think his shoulders were showing because he had a belt. I remember that. I remember looking at his belt. And he was wearing gloves. I remember because the padding of his gloves were, like, really cool. Drawing an actual hand, if you can call that an actual hand. This thumb. There we go. Did his rocket launchers have like act? I can't remember. Like, had like the little need part. And we can have one leg straight out like this and one coming back. He has kind of longer boots and really, really baggy pants. I also might have to cut off this leg, but that's okay. There we go. What else am I missing? Mm, oh yeah, his like... He had like these orange things coming out of his head that were like two-toned. There we go. Fuck ago. A perfect replica. I'm actually kind of happy with this one. <laughs> he looks fun. He looks like a fun guy. Someone you definitely want to be friends with. Alright, let's check our work. Dang, okay. Let's, let's go over it. 
So we have our classic pointy teeth and scowl. There we go. Now uh, that's how his hair went. Mm, I get like I think I did a pretty good job on the hair, honestly. Just like could have made it a little bit more spiky, like, but not that bad. For his costume, mm, I kind of changed how it was in the front, but I did get that cross. And I did get his belt and these little swoopy things I mistook because they come down and like this instead of swoop to the side. Like in this example, I also forgot his like knee pads and his boots come up higher. Like his boots come up all the way to his knees. I got these. Okay. And then I drew this, but I didn't draw it like how it's supposed to be. But that's not too bad. So overall, I think I'm going to give this one mm, mm, an 810. An 8 out of 10. Hmm, pretty good job. Proud of myself. So what do you guys think? Did I get a perfect 10 out of 10 or did I completely flop? Please, I want to know from some people who actually watch MHA and know the characters pretty well. And not just me who pretends I know what I'm doing but is really just doodling these fun characters. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more content like this. If not, no worries. Enjoy your day and I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye!